Next stop, St. Mary Parish. We headed to Franklin, the closest town, and set up shop in front of Walmart. Do you have a story you'd like to share? Hi, would you like to share your story? Would you like to share your story on KTC? But it didn't take long before I heard this voice. I have a story. And met Danielle Welch, 22-year-old worker at Walmart who has turned her life around. And I'm here working at Walmart with two healthy, beautiful little boys. And as she's telling Thank us you. about her kids, Thank you. Grandma brings three-year-old PJ for a visit. <laughs> I know, but I have to go to work. No. Danielle's love for her family is apparent right away. And that's why Danielle's story can't be told without the people she loves most. I'll see you later. This is Danielle's grandpa always available with lunch money and never missing a basketball game. I never had a dad, so I turned to my grandfather and he was always there. He died unexpectedly from a brain aneurysm and Danielle's life would never be the same. I just didn't feel like anybody understood what I was going through. At 16, Danielle moved to Houston with her sister and when the pain still wouldn't relent, she found her own way to ease it. I thought about suicide. I started hanging around with the wrong crowd, drugs, alcohol, blacking out, did all of that. Then in 2012, everything changed. Meet PJ. You met him once already. I love you. Then two years later came her second miracle, another son and another reason to better her life. <laughs> and this man standing next to him, that's the last person you have to meet. It's her fiance, Dreric Hamilton. He saw Danielle in a drive through It was love at first sight. When I first saw her, I just stared at her, you know? And after that, I made my mind up what I wanted to do. They're getting married in the fall. And guess what? We're invited. KTC could come today if y'all want to. <laughs> You're inviting us? Yeah, y'all come today if y'all want to. We'll send the invitation, you know? So each day, Danielle goes to work driven by the family around her and a grandpa who's watching over her. He would be very proud of me. She's walked the long road towards healing, and now her heart is finally full. I'm Brianna Malloy, and join me next week as I ask, what's your story? Oh, Abbeville. In Abbeville, Vermilion Parish. Abbeville.